Hey, Simon here for Simon. Uh, so this is a quick test, actually. A couple of years ago, I went and recorded myself running around the Imperial Palace with my handheld Zaki camera. It's around here somewhere. Here it is. Boom. Um, so I actually ran around the palace. I had this handheld and I thought, I'm going to run around. I'm going to try to keep this as steady as possible. I'm going to run all the way around the Imperial Palace. Five Ks takes about 30 minutes. Um, and I did that. And the thing was, no matter how hard I tried to hold this still, um, I ran around, the video came out really, really terrible, it came out really, really shaky, and I tried some uh, stabilization filters and some other things, um, and I ended up, the, the video was crap, but I, I decided if I sped it up about 25 times, I put some music on it, I reduced the size of the frame, I put a map and everything on it so I look a little bit better. I uh, uploaded a, that video in January 2010, um, and it's still on my YouTube channel. Now an interesting thing happened uh, yesterday which is that Microsoft, which has been announcing that they were developing a super stabilizing kind of algorithm for software for basically for mobile devices and for PC to create hyperlapse videos. Uh, there's already a great hyperlapse app on the iOS. Well, they announced that they were creating a, a, a hyperlapse app which would work on PC or on their um, uh, on mobile devices. So uh, this came out yesterday for Android, uh, Mo Windows Mobile didn't come out for iOS yet, but a preview version came out for uh, Windows, which I just downloaded and I tried out, I thought the perfect thing to try was this crappy video that I couldn't salvage five years ago, so I found this old video. Um, it's in kind of low resolution, but what, so what I've done is I've created a video test, which you're about to see. So I've still got the map showing where I was around the palace, I've got the original video, which I just sped up uh, to try to smooth out before, so you can see how shaky the original video was, and above it is the identical video, which has been stabilized, you, you can see the watermark on it with this new Microsoft Hyperlapse software. Um, it's pretty cool to take a look, so I'm just going to do a commentary, I guess, let's play it and take a look and see, see the difference. Boom, there we go, so just start it. Um, so this is starting from in front of the Tokyo Marine Building, which is a building I used to work in. In fact, I've, I've worked in this district for more than 10 years. I don't work there anymore, but I know this area really well, and I've done this run many times. So this is coming around through Kyobashi at the moment. Over the gate, this is kind of an uphill stretch. Um, this is the way that people typically run around the palace, by the way. In fact, now it's a rule. You're not allowed to run the other way. So this is going around to the Kitamaru coin on the back side. Um, there's lots of beautiful cherry blossoms. Now what's really interesting, I think you can look at the top and the bottom, is that the bottom you can't really tell where you are so well, but no question, at the top the frame is much more stable. It's obviously capturing some images and I don't know if it's duplicating them in the frames, but where the bottom really is just kind of a, a mess, the top is also a mess, no question. I mean it was shockingly shot using uh, the Zacti, but um, yeah, you can actually see the buildings on the horizon look a lot more stable. Um, you actually do have a pretty clear idea looking at the top video of where you're going, going back towards Moronouchi now, back to where I started, and there I am exhausted. And yeah, so it's pretty impressive actually, and I think this, I mean I'd love to do experiment combining this with say the, the iOS hyperlapse app, perhaps see if you can actually make them extra smooth with that. Um, but what I love is that while that's great for iOS and I love it, I could do uh, hyperlapse videos on my mobile device. Um, interesting way now of doing this with uh, videos perhaps shot with uh, something more like this. Obviously it's intended to work really with a GoPro or action cameras and that's what they're actually default settings there to actually enhance the ability shot with action cameras. Perhaps it's another reason to get a GoPro but um, it still is only in a preview version at the moment. It's not the full version yet but um, hopefully it'll come out for free. We'll see. And it looks pretty good. So Microsoft really got its shit together lately so uh, good stuff. and. Uh, have a, it's free to download anyway. If you've got uh, Windows Mobile or um, Android, you can download it right now. And you can download the Watermark Preview version that I just uh, showed just now um, on uh, PC. So, hope you enjoy that. Hope it's useful. Peace.